friends today we will go through the problem of applied mechanics and we will deal with the problem associated with the Lamy's theorem of applied mechanics here we have a problem is that a container of weight W is subjected from the ring A to which the cable AB and AC are attached the constant of the spring is also given as 100 newton per meter and the unstressed length is 3 meters and we need to determine the tension in the cable when the load w is 120 newtons so this is the figure in which we have two strings ac and ab in which the load having weight w equals to 120 newton is acting okay so this is the angle of inclination of AB and AC given and we need to find out the tension. So we need to find out the tension along AB and AC of these strings. So if we draw the free body diagram, we will have this figure. So we this is. So we will have this uh, since if this is 90 degree, so this angle will be our 50 degree isn't it so this is 30 degree and this if we project this it will give us 60 degree and the summation of 30 plus 40 will give us 70 so this will be the free body diagram of this problem now friends we can use Lamy's theorem in this problem so we know that if a body is in equilibrium under the action of three forces then each force is proportional to the sign of angle within the other two so we have these three forces acting from the same point okay these forces tab since tension is always acting towards the string isn't it so towards the support this tensions direction will be always towards the support and load will be acting vertically downward so we have these three forces tab is along the support and tac likewise we have vertically downward the weight so we can use Lamy's theorem in this problem that states that if there are three forces then each force is proportional to the sign of angle between the other two so we can we will use the Lamy's theorem here now friends we will just draw the angles so we will just look at the angle here so this force the angle will be opposite angle between the two forces will be this isn't it so this angle is 50 plus 90 that is 50 plus 90 140 isn't it so this will be 140 and so this 120 the angle will be this 70 degree okay and for this tab the angle will be this is 60 degree and this is 90 degree so 60 plus 90 will be 150 degree isn't it so we have just write down the angles that we have to use in the Lamy's theorem so we'll use Lamy's theorem here so we have this T A C divided by the angle between the opposite two side this is the T A C angle between the opposite two forces so angle between the two opposite forces is you know that 140 sine 140 degree okay so equals to TAB divided by the angle between the opposite two forces so TAC and 120 force angle is 150 that is sine 150 degree so equals to weight W that is 120 divided by sine angle between TAC and TAB is 70 degree so we will have this expression now we need to solve these two expressions so as to get TAC and TAB TAC by sine 140 equals to TAB by sine 150 equals to 120 by sine 70 this is the Lamy's theorem and we will be solving this to this expression so 
here we have to find TAC and TAB so for this we need to solve first expression and third expression so if we solve first and third expression we will get TAC equals to 82.08 Newton likewise if we solve TAB by 1 sin, sin 150 equals to 120 by sin 70 then we will easily obtain the tension in the string AB and that will come out to be 63.85 so friends this is the way we can use Lamy's theorem in simple problems. So we have to note one thing that for using the Lamy's theorem, we need to make sure that point. So all the forces must be outgoing from the same common point. So this is the common point, and all the forces should be going from this common point. We need to make sure that. Okay. So this is the way we can solve out Lamy's theorem. Again, strain have, have to be careful. So this is uh, the spring constant is 100 newton per meter. So this is this uh, 100 newton per meter that is spring constant have not been used in the solution. So when you have to calculate the extension of the spring, so you will be using this spring constant. So this is only the superfluous data that is given in the question.